Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Branson, Missouri with JC News Now as he makes a phone call that, well, is pretty much outright stupid to begin with, considering he asks the question, when is it right to uh, resist an unlawful arrest, which the uh, officer on the other end gives him a good answer to that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody? Let's call the chief of Boonville, Arkansas, and ask him what he thinks about uh, when it's okay to fight back against the unlawful arrest. Well, that's kind of a loaded question right there, considering at the time of the arrest, you don't know if it's lawful or unlawful because that is determined in the courts, as we're about to find out. And if you attempt to fight an arrest, it just might make it so much worse for you. Mr. Sparky might be introduced to it, or so much worse things can be done if you uh, attempt to attack the cops during an arrest. But hey, that's your life, not mine, uh, Jimmy boy. Police Department. Hi, my name's JC. I'm calling for Chief Villarreal. He is not in at the moment. Oh. Call you back? Uh, no, that's okay. I'm kind of in a hurry and I'm fixing to go to lunch anyway. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, is there a senior officer there? Uh, the sergeant's here. Can what I is it that you're wanting to speak to him about? Well, I'll talk to him about that. Can I speak to him, please? May I get your name? JC. JC, just what? Thank you. Hey, Sarge, this is JC. I was just wanting to ask a couple of questions. I was wanting to talk to the chief, but if you're the OIC, that'll work if it's all right if you got a minute. Yeah, absolutely. What you got? Well, I was wondering, I saw a video on YouTube. You know how those go, those pesky auditors. Uh, yeah, go ahead and count yourself included, too, in that pesky auditors club that you revere so much. And I was curious... When do you guys, I know that the uh, police forces all across the nation are doing a comply and now and compla complain later campaign. Is that going on in y'all's? Yeah, the, the, the National Police Association, uh, that, that's kind of, been a, it's kind of been a motto that they're putting out there. I, that's really started to pick up this year. Okay, uh, how do you feel about uh, somebody fighting back if the arrest is unlawful? Well, so the only thing that I can really say about that is, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, out on the side of the road, that that's not where you're determined to be guilty or whatever, you know, innocent until proven guilty, obviously. Um, and the the arrest is proven to be unlawful in court not on the side of the road. That is a great answer, Jimmy boy. Too bad you don't accept that answer. I bet it is a legitimate answer to begin with because that kind of thing is not determined on the side of the road. Just as all these sovereign citizens tend to think that uh, all these court cases can be done on the side of the road, which they are completely ignorant of to begin with, all that is determined in court and not on the street. Get that, dummy? So you're... You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so you're con on that. I can put you in the con list on that. And pros and cons. Because, uh... Okay. I, I guess the Supreme Court has ruled 
that it is lawful to fight back if the rest is unlawful. Uh, Jimmy, uh, just like every other stupid thing that comes out of your mouth, I'm going to say citation needed because that sounds like a load of BS. I'm sure the Supreme Court would not have said that because that would be outrageously stupid right there and cause more harm than good. Because, well, if you fight back during your arrest, it's bound to make things worse on you. My goodness, you are not a very smart one, are you, Jimmy boy? But we're running a campaign that says com comply now and complain later. That's going on in y'all's department as well. Yeah, and what, what that boils down to is just it's overall safety for everybody, for the public and, and for the officers. Right. But a lot of people are feeling like it's their duty to fight back. Well, and, you know, everybody has the right to think however they want to. Yeah, I guess so. Um, how about this? Uh, can an officer be the complainant on a disturbing the peace call? Uh, so, I mean, in the state of Arkansas, there, there's nothing in the statute that says that they can't be. Oh, okay. If, if that answers your question. Hmm. Yeah, that pretty much answers it. All right, what's your name? I'm Sergeant Nichols. All right, thank you, Sergeant Nichols. I'm JC. It's good to meet you, and I appreciate your time. All right, you have a good day. You too, thank you. Uh-huh, bye. Bye. Well, we know where the city of Boonville stands. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, they stand with people who aren't exactly stupid like you who understand that fighting back during an arrest tends to cause more problems than it solves. If you want to prove that it's an illegal arrest, you do that in the courts, not out on the streets. I mean, it's the judges and juries that determine that in the end. So if you want to prove it, then you need to go to court. But JC here is not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer, so he wouldn't be able to figure all that out anyway. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I would see you on the next one.